Use this oil once a week for a crazy hair growth. I'm going to give you the secret sauce. It is very easy to use, very easy to make. If you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I post hair growth videos twice a week, every single week. So hit the bell and subscribe if that seems interesting to you. Today, we are going to be making amla oil. Now this is the current state of my hair. This is after I had used it just one time. Now of course you have to be consistent but let's get into how to making it. So you only need two ingredients. The first one is amla powder and this is what it looks like. Very tiny packet. Go to any Indian supermarket. I found a bunch of spices, not sponsored by the way, a bunch of spices that you can use to make these different kinds of oils. So this one is very easy. Only two ingredients, the powder and the oil of choice. So I am using one level tablespoon of amla powder. Now, if you want to not make as much, you can use half a teaspoon. If you want to make more, you could use more, but this is like the maximum I would advise. And then I'm using extra virgin olive oil and I will be using half a cup. Note that this is two thirds of a cup. That's why it's not filled full to the top. And you want to use a nice high quality olive oil, which is always, it just looks yellowy green and extra virgin is the best processed oil that usually says like no smell refined for cooking has some of the beneficial nutrients taken out. So this is just the oil and the powder and it is on the stove on the lowest possible heat you do not want this to like fry or boil it should just heat up and almost simmer because you don't want to denature all the nutrients that are in the oil but you want it to be warm enough for the amla to release all its good ingredients and infuse into the oil so what you want to do is just continue mixing and mixing around as it's getting warmer and you notice that the oil is going to start getting lighter and then you can just let it sit and watch and when you look at it like this and it looks like the center you see that the powder kind of looks like it's forming together or going away from each other and lightly simmering then you know that the amla oil is almost done and you can let it sit for an extra two to three minutes, making sure it does not boil. And you see, I even take the pot off the stove so you can see just how low heat it is. It almost looks like it's off and then I will increase so you can see the full flame, but I cooked it almost on off. Then I took it off the stove with the lid. I left it overnight to make sure that everything perfectly infuses and this is what it looked like after all the oil and the powder was infused. I just mix that up with a spoon and then I get a funnel and then I'm going to decant it into a glass jar where I'm going to leave it to make sure that all the oil drains out of the powder and the sieve without wasting any oil. So if you're wondering how will amla oil actually benefit your hair, here are some of the things it can do. It can strengthen your scalp and your hair. It reduces premature pigment loss from your hair, AKA early graying. It stimulates hair growth. It reduces hair loss. It helps prevent baldness. It helps treat dandruff and dry scalp. It treats parasitic hair and scalp infections. Like if you suffered from lice and you cleared that up. Um, it treats fungal and bacterial infections, and it just helps the overall appearance of hair. Now, this is not the first time I have used amla oil. I used to use amla oil a lot as a kid. My mom used to use this in my hair. And as you can see right now, I'm using a sterilized glass bottle. Yes, I found another bottle. It is always best to use oils in a glass bottle, but if you have no other choice, you can go ahead and use a plastic bottle. But I finally found my glass with a little pipette, so it's going to be very easy to apply. So like I said, I've used Amla before, usually by the Dabur brand. Dabur, I think that's pronounced right. That's usually the most widely available Amla oil and by far the most popular. My mom still uses it now, but the reason I don't use it is because I noticed that most of the ones I find, I don't know if it's just where I live or because that's the cheapest option. The one that looks like the one on the screen right now usually has not the best ingredients, which are paraffinium liquidum, basically mineral oil, canola oil, glycerides, fragrance, hydroquinone, and then amla extracts in canola oil at the end. So it has very little amla. So this oil would probably just help your hair look a little bit more shiny, but it won't actually infuse enough of the benefits of the amla oil into your hair. So I highly suggest that if you can get your hands on an already oil mix that contains amla or that's amla, as the first ingredient, I would suggest this is your next best option. Just make it, which is why I love making my own oils. So now I'm going to show you how I apply it. I start by, of course, I was wearing a wig. I took it off. My hair is still in the twists that it was if you just watched my previous video. 
definitely in need of a wash and this was the day before my wash so i put nice generous amounts of the amla oil on my scalp but i am not doing a hot oil treatment i'm just putting a little bit more generous of an oil than i usually would because I tend to put slightly less than this because oils do run down the shaft of your hair but I didn't mind because I knew that tomorrow is my wash day with a shampoo so that didn't bother me. I went ahead and went between every single twist which is why I love putting oils when my hair is in twists or braids. There's no manipulation. I don't have to use a comb to make lines. I just move my hair around as you can see and I put the oil directly on your scalp. Now, like I said, you can use this as a hot oil treatment as well. You can heat the bottle up, which is why it's nice if it's in glass too. You can heat the oil up in a glass of warm or almost hot water to heat up your oil and then you can go ahead and put it on your scalp and a little bit on your hair shaft but i found that i just needed this on my scalp most of the time i only need oils on my scalp and when i feel the need to do a hot oil treatment that's about one to two times a month and i already did a hot oil treatment about a week ago so i'm just focusing on oiling my scalp and once you feel like your scalp has enough oil all around go ahead and focus on your edges it's very easy to get away with putting a little bit extra oil on your edges because if you're like most people, you wash your face with a facial wash that foams, basically soap, and that can get off a little bit oil, a little bit of oil from your hairline. So you could be slightly heavy handed there. And I always try to start my scalp massage on my edges, especially if I put oil there last to make sure it doesn't run down my face and actually absorb into my hair. Since you're using an Indian oil, you might as well go and do an Ayurvedic scalp massage. I do have a video all about that. But if you don't want to do an Ayurvedic scalp massage, you could just do a regular regular scalp massage like what I'm doing right now please make sure you only use the pads of your fingers do not use your nails and do not rub too hard it should just be a soft motion that stimulates blood flow to your scalp this is going to help you absorb all the benefits from the amla oil it will also naturally stimulate your hair growth by sending blood flow there then i just go ahead and tie my hair and this is what i washed it with the next day i used the amika the cure shampoo and the amika nourishing deep conditioner then i went ahead and moisturized my hair with the olaplex number no. six and this is how i rinsed it out you can see i was just showing you that i washed my hair in the twists this was my co-wash day but I actually washed it with shampoo this video is from a different day I just wanted to show you that after I washed it I went ahead and tied it I put my moisturizer in and did my regular moisturizing tea routine I went under a plastic cap kept that in for 20 minutes and rinsed that out and you're going to see how soft and beautiful and shiny my hair looks definitely try and incorporate this into your routine but as i always say if you already have an oil try and see if that works before moving on to this one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye